Hey and welcome to my channel where I experiment with different materials and techniques. We are back again with another latex crafting tutorial and this time I will be transforming into Sailor Venus from the Sailor Moon franchise. This project was heavily about experimenting as I was trying out different techniques I had not tried out before. After the Rei Ayanami catsuit project, my brain was a bit fried, so I approached this project with a bit less structure. And since this project leaned very heavily on my intuition, I didn't make any design illustrations like I did for my previous projects. Here I have once again drafted a basic v-neck bodysuit that I have then decided to divide into separate pieces. For this cosplay, this will not be necessary since all of these pieces will be cut out of white latex, but I wanted to add some details from the character's actual suit. Here I have divided the breast cups with a seam, but it looks like I didn't actually create a true princess seam. That is when you would remove a slice from the pattern in order to create a curve in the seam, which then would create a space for your chest. I will actually focus pretty heavily on princess seams in my next video, but in this video having those seams is contributing very little to the actual final shape here. I also made a pattern for the sailor collar by tracing the neckline from the bodysuit pattern pieces. Then I traced the pieces on latex and started cutting. I also cut out four strips that taper towards the end. These will become the rolled sleeves. Since I'm using 0.4mm latex, which is pretty thin, I'm cutting a strip to be glued at the hem of the sailor collar to weigh it down a little bit. Then I'm gluing some white strips on the collar. One problem that I faced throughout this project was that my glue was getting a bit too old and thick. I did thin it out with some rubber cement thinner, but since I've had this glue for over a year now, I had forgotten what the original consistency of the glue was like, so it was still too thick. This caused me some minor problems late in the project, and is also the reason why my glue strokes are not so nice and neat. Here I'm gluing that orange strip underneath the collar to give it some structure so it doesn't curl on itself so easily. I think the white stripes help the collar to keep its shape already, but this is just for some extra support. Next, I'm gluing together the front of the bodysuit, starting from the upper part. I like to use something round on the curvy seams, as that usually helps me to align the pieces better. To ensure that the pieces are in full contact and that there are no air bubbles in between, I roll the seams with a seam roller. Then I attach the lower part of the front to the chest part.
I then attached the lower and the upper part of the back together. Again, none of these seams have much of a functionality, I just wanted to include the horizontal seam as the character had that in her suit too. Then I'm attaching the front and the back from the shoulder seam. Next, I very sloppily applied glue on one of those white strips I cut out for the sleeves and roll it into a roll. I then struggled figuring out how to attach this roll, so I cut out new strips and instead of rolling them up like this, I folded the strips in half vertically and glued them to the sleeve opening. I glued two strips on both sides and let the glue cure overnight. The next day I would fill these tubes I made with some polyfill. The polyfill can look a bit lumpy and there's a fine balance between overstuffing and not stuffing it enough. Ideally these could be filled with air, like inflatables are, but I think that these sleeves are a bit too small to go through the hassle of inserting a vent. I'm very tempted to incorporate the technique to some of my future projects, though. Once I had filled the tubes, I glued them shut and started closing the side seams. Next, I'm attaching the collar to the neckline. And since I glued the sailor collar on this leotard, I can't put a zipper in the back. Therefore, I'm determined to wiggle into this suit through the crotch opening and decided to experiment with some snap buttons. Since adding snap buttons on latex itself sounds kind of tricky and would definitely need some kind of a fabric sandwich between, I figured that I could glue these snap buttons that are already on a tape. Since you can't just glue fabric on latex, I rubberized the tape with some ammonia-based latex milk, which is exactly the same stuff that I used to rubberize my zippers for my projects. I used a leather puncher to punch holes for the buttons, and then I sandwiched the tape between the latex. And despite me checking that I indeed punched the holes in the right places, I goofed a bit so I had to punch new holes for the other side, but luckily the first holes are not going to show or affect the integrity of the latex. Next, I'm trying to decide where on the bodysuit I should glue the skirt. The skirts on the Sailor Guardians dip down a bit at the front, and I've noticed that in many costumes the skirt length gets a bit longer in the front for that same reason. I wanted to avoid this by tapering the material in the front of the skirt shorter, as it would appear the same length as the rest of the skirt if it was just worn lower. Another thing I had noticed was that for all Sailor Guardian cosplays that I have seen other people make out of latex, they made a full circle skirt instead of a pleated skirt. This makes sense as pleated skirts would have to be pressed in order for them to retain the pleats and that method cannot be used for latex. However, I have seen some nice looking pleated latex skirts, so I know that in theory it is possible to make one. 
I used an online calculator for how much material I would need for a knife pleat skirt and using those numbers I drew a pattern and cut off the latex pieces. I then marked the distance of the pleats and started folding the latex. Soon I realized that the folds were not lying flat enough, so I tried to add some glue in between them afterwards, but looking back I wish I hadn't done things in this order. Once I had finished pleating, I realized that the online calculator was giving wrong numbers and in fact I needed way more material. Also, in order for the pleats to spread out nicely, I wasn't able to make the skirt with the waist circumference of the bodysuit, but it had to be bigger. For that reason, I couldn't glue the skirt on the bodysuit, so it has to be worn separately on top of it. So I cut out more material and started making more pleats. This time I glued the folds down first before making the pleats. These folds turn out a bit nicer than the ones that I had glued earlier. I tried really hard to spread the glue very thinly and evenly, but like I said in the beginning, my glue was too thick and I didn't realize it. I also let the glue dry out very well before gluing the folds, as this should minimize curling of the final seam. However, the latex was probably a bit too thin for a pleated skirt, so some of the seams still remained a bit wobbly, not to mention that there were some calculation errors to begin with, so some of the pleats weren't exactly the same size as the other ones. Once the skirt was ready, I wanted to emphasize the V-shape in the front, so I cut out a small piece. Then I'm implementing the same strategy for the hip roll that I used for the sleeves. I'm gluing a white strip on the waistband and stuffing it with polyfill. Then we need some finishing touches for the costume. Here I'm making a big bow to be attached on the chest by gluing some latex into a tube, bunching it up and then using a smaller piece to hold it together. Since this thing is too bulky to just glue to the bodysuit, I decided to try incorporating snap buttons for this purpose too. And it works, which is great because this makes it easier to store these different colored pieces separately and prevent the lighter colors from getting stained. I've noticed that the orange latex stains white latex pretty easily, so I have to figure out how to store the bodysuit now that it has the collar attached to it. For the yellow bow at the back, I also used the same snap button method. Thinking back, I probably would have preferred to have this bow on top of the hip roll, so I guess I should have attached it on the bodysuit instead. I also made a red bow to be worn in my hair. For this, I just used a regular bobby pin. 
Be careful with metal and latex though, as some metals are also known to discolor latex. For the blue bow, I added a spray painted resin cabochon that I had initially made for the Evangelion catsuit, and I also did try to make a tiara out of EVA foam, but I still need to work on my plastidip coating technique, as you can tell. The surface wasn't glossy and smooth enough for me, so I will have to work on this later. In any case, the suit was now ready, and it was time to transform to Sailor V. First of all, I am genuinely surprised that I was able to get in this suit without a zipper. It was very difficult, but once I was able to pull it down, I could tell that it fits nicely and the snap buttons definitely make it easier to use the restroom. There's a little bit of bunching at the back again, but I think it's because the bodysuit was riding up and if I would have just tucked it down a little bit, it would have fixed that problem. I could minimize this problem by making the leg holes a bit smaller, as now they come up pretty high at the hips. I have mixed feelings about the skirt, though. Some of the folds look a bit wobbly, but I think the main issue is that there's some inconsistency with the pleats, and with a pleated skirt, the consistency is definitely the thing that makes or breaks it. I blame my lack of planning and not double-checking the online calculator's numbers, but I also think that the latex was too thin for this purpose. Some individual pleats actually look nice, and with a slightly thicker latex, I think there's a potential to make a really neat looking pleated latex skirt. I will definitely try to make a better one in the future, but for now I almost want to wear the skirt inside out to hide some of the wobbliness. Another thing I wish I planned a bit better is the hip roll. The seam wasn't glued very evenly, and after adding the roll, the V-shape in the front kind of disappeared too. But like I said in the beginning, this project was heavily focused on experimenting and I think that the idea behind the hip roll could definitely be refined to something that would look very true to the original suit. I think the sleeves are a good indication of that. They turn out better than expected because I wasn't sure if the polyfill would work in this case. They were quite uncomfortable in the beginning, as there's some extra bulk in the armpits that you don't usually get with garments, but as the time went on, I completely forgot the discomfort. I think the sailor collar turned out pretty good too, but my favorite part is definitely the bows. They are such a simple touch, but they really make this whole costume. I almost didn't include the red and yellow bows because I didn't have those colors at hand, but I ordered a small batch of them since I'm sure I will be needing those colors later. I wish my gloves were latex too, but I've had trouble finding white latex gloves for this or for my previous costumes, so this is the second best solution. So that's it for the Sailor Venus cosplay. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. I hope I was able to do justice to Sailor Venus, as I know she's a fan favorite. I have made some other latex cosplay videos in the past too, so check them out if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe, because there will be more videos like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and happy crafting!